for dinner tonight. I thought I would make chicken francaise. Um, this is a really easy meal to make and it's one I haven't made in a while so I'm looking forward to it. And it doesn't really require too many ingredients. Um, the things I am substituting is I am using this Smart Balance um, instead of regular butter because there's lower sodium in this and I'm trying to watch my sodium intake. And um, you could add salt to the recipe as well, which I'm not adding. And um, I am using a low sodium chicken broth as well. So you can go either, you know, full sodium, low sodium, no sodium. Um, but that's what I'm using. And these are all the other ingredients that I'm gonna use in my recipe tonight. In my first step here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my chicken and I'm gonna coat each piece into the flour here, making sure to coat it really well on both sides. And you'll notice here that I'm using chicken tenders. Um, you can use either chicken tenders or chicken breasts cut in half, whichever you prefer. And then I'm gonna place these to the side on another plate and I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all of the rest of the chicken that I have here in my package. Now that my chicken is all coated with the flour mixture, and I should say mixture because I did add a little bit of cornstarch and some black pepper to that um, before I coated the chicken. Um, but now that it's all coated, I'm going to go ahead and start heating up my oil in the frying pan. And I'm going to start preheating my oven. And I did toss in a cup of rice in my rice cooker, so I will go ahead and start that up as well. While my pan of oil was heating up, I did go ahead and I whisked up my eggs and I added some water. You could add either water or milk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each piece of chicken, I'm going to coat it in the egg and let the excess egg drip off. And then I'm going to um, cook each piece of chicken for roughly three minutes, three to four minutes on each side. Now that my chicken is lightly browned on one side, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip each piece and I'm going to go ahead and continue cooking these on this side for another three to four minutes. Mm. Smells really good too. So we'll let that continue for a couple minutes. Now that my chicken has lightly browned on both sides, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it over to a plate with a paper towel. And this will help um, drain some of the grease, some of the oil off of the chicken. Now that my chicken is sitting to the side, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dump in some butter. And I didn't measure it, but that's all good. And I'm gonna let that, um, that melt. Now that my butter has melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my two cups of chicken stock or chicken broth, low sodium. And I also have roughly a third of a cook of white wine. I'm using a Chardonnay, um, a yellowtail Chardonnay. And then now I'll go ahead and squeeze in some lemon juice. And I will go ahead and let that heat up a little bit and stir it occasionally. Now that my sauce here has heated up, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of this flour, cornstarch, and black pepper mix I have. And I would have preferred to have sifted this in, but I can't find my sifter. So I'm gonna add some of that in and just kind of stir it up a little bit because this is gonna help thicken the sauce. 
And I'm not going to worry too much about getting the clumps out now because um, if there are any clumps still in here, they'll work themselves out while this is in the oven. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to just go ahead and do this just for a little bit so it's not too clumpy. While my sauce was heating up, I went ahead and I moved my chicken into a nine by 13 inch baking dish. And now it's time to, to coat my chicken with this really delicious gravy that we just made here. And I actually put a little bit extra in the pan because I didn't think I had enough. I kind of added some more chicken broth and wine and butter. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna top it with some parsley flakes. And I never measure, I always cook from the heart when it comes to seasonings. And I'm gonna go ahead and top this off with a couple of slices of onions that I cut up. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven that I preheated to 300 degrees for mm, roughly 15 minutes. My dinner is now done. And so I'm going to first add a big scoop of rice. Perhaps not as fancy as they do it in the restaurants, but that's all good. A little bit more. Okay, so that's perfect. And now what I'm going to do. Oh, Cooper, are you okay, buddy? My cat just got under my foot. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add my chicken. I think I'm going to add two pieces here. Oh, that looks so good. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the sauce on the top. Oh, that should be perfect. Cannot wait to dig into this. Uh, just a little bit more. Okay, there you have it. Dinner is served. Have a great night.